Pop it like I see you fine. YouTube, what up? And right now, this is just like a little prediction uh, video for Power Book 2 Season 4 slash the how I feel about the character's performance during Season 3. And right now, today I'm, I'm going to do this for uh, Drew, I'm going to do this for Diana, Effie, so on and so forth, but right now I'm doing with Kane. Um, if you like the video, man, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to start doing more content when it comes to these TV shows that I really enjoy watching, specifically Power, and y'all fuck with it, y'all be vibing out with it, so obviously I'm doing something right a little bit, so I'm going to continue to capitalize on that shit, but let's go ahead and get into this Kane shit, man. Uh, Kane, when Power Book 2 first aired, season 1, I did not like the nigga for shit, because I'm like, bro, what's wrong with this nigga, man, and he's, he... He is like a nigga that's like in real life, like niggas, I'm gonna stop saying niggas. I'm gonna say men, black men. They always worry about another what another motherfucker got going on. That's how motherfuckers get killed. That's how that's how why motherfuckers so envious. Cause they always worried about somebody else and always in somebody else's business. It shouldn't be like that, but that's how it is. So I just didn't like the nigga, man. The nigga's a mama's boy, which I can relate to, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But the nigga, man, he, the nigga just out of pocket, bro. For them, from season one to season two, from playing the badge and just, 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 just always on to re sack. Shit was crazy. But when he became an understudy, if you want to give him that term, for Mecca, obviously he learned a lot of technical shit and kind of how them, uh, to use power plays to, you know, push yourself forward. So season three. He did a phenomenal job. I mean, he had a lot of he had a lot of growth as far as uh, character development from leading the family, having Lorenzo. You know that shit was funny as hell. He had Lorenzo under his thumb type shit. Um, you know, just really holding the shit down and uh, really just worried. You know, worried about his own shit. What did Pimp C say back in the day? Get your mind on your shit, and everything will fall into place. And that's exactly what was going on. But I feel like and he was doing a phenomenal job. Like he really wasn't fucked up about Tariq like that. He was getting money. He was doing what he was supposed to do. And it, everything was running smoothly. Of course we knew that he, he had a little thing for Effie and shit. Like he was always flirting and shit. But he really wasn't trying to pursue that shit like that. Like he was kind of cool and laid back type shit. But when he really got when he really fucked up, when he got the fucking up, man, was when he got the fucking with Effie. And that shit really gonna be his downfall. I don't, do I believe he's gonna get killed off next season? I don't think so because he's such a good character and such an influence. I think he's probably gonna make it to like season five, season six type shit. You know what I'm saying? But when he got the fucking on Effie and shit, it's like he got the going back to his old ways to one of the first thing he said when he visited uh, when he visited Effie. I don't know if she was at the precinct or she was in the jumpsuit. So he when he got to visit her at visitation or whatever, the first thing, one of the first thing that nigga said is, let's set up this nigga Tariq. Like, he was going back to his old ways. Like, when he, when I heard him say that shit on the television, something in the back of my head just, like, thumped. Like, like what's wrong with this nigga, man? And I don't, like, like I said, man, Effie, man, she got some power in that pussy because this shit don't make no goddamn sense like how that nigga was acting. Like, this nigga went from... Like, okay, this nigga showed significant improvements, and now this nigga being a straight-up simp. I mean, this nigga was knocking off Tariq pulled up. Uh, every time I tell the nigga to go in the bathroom, bro, talking about some, like a simp, but that nigga did it, though. Like, <laughs> wild as hell, you know what I'm saying? And then he having a conversation with Tariq, like, Tariq, like, bro, I ain't fucked up about you know, you know, Effie or whatever. Ooh, he kind of was a little bit, of course, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you got a feelings for somebody, you gonna feel a certain type of way. Even if it is just a little bit. Man, this nigga Kane talking about she was vulnerable. What do you say? She was vulnerable or she was broken or she was hurt. So a real nigga had to pick up the pieces. Nigga, you a bitch. Okay, that's why you fucking with Effie to try to get back at me. You want to be me, my nigga. I understand that. Listen, you left Shorty in pieces, all right? I had to pick up those pieces. So you can't be mad at her for fucking with a real nigga. But I appreciate you. Thank you so much because you sure did leave Shorty thirsty. Oh, my God. When it, man. I gotta find that clip, I'ma play that shit. Man, that shit was out of there. Bullshit. And that represents a lot of these motherfuckers out here that got money. Black folks that got money. Y'all some tricks. 
Y'all ain't got a player bone in y'all body. That's why a lot of these females out here act the way they do. That's why they act, that's, that's why they talk the way they talk. That's why they act the way they act. You know, y'all just got the game fucked up, but that's all the conversation for all the day. But shit, as far as season four, man, um, this is actually a good point. This is not my idea, so I'ma go ahead and let y'all know. I'ma let y'all know that right now, cause I don't wanna make, I don't wanna mislead y'all. But y'all remember, two bit, you know, he, you know, he comes through every now and then to escort, you know, uh, <laughs> Tariq and shit like that. Recently, they swapped cars. You know, Tariq had that Porsche, that blue Porsche that he caught. So you know, Tariq. I mean, not Tariq. You know that Kane is gonna for Tariq this next upcoming season. And I feel like we all know, we all got that feeling that Two Bit is gonna be on Tariq's side, and it makes complete sense since Kane is gonna be on one for season four for the you know for the majority of it going for Tariq's head until he finds out the truth. Uh, Tariq, uh, Kane knows what car Tariq has, the Porsche, but he doesn't know who Two Bit is, and he doesn't know that they swap cars, so he probably gonna shoot up the Porsche. So. Two bits gonna be like, man, who the fuck is this guy? He's gonna approach Tariq and be like, who the fuck is gonna for you with that woo? And that's how that shit gonna happen, man. I think that shit gonna be cold as fuck, man. That's gonna be one of the mistakes that comes with being on the wrong side of the uh the fence. We all know this shit. We all know this nigga Tariq is the brains of this shit. He's gonna figure out. He gonna figure this shit out. And now he's gonna now that he's gonna be on the offense, he's gonna be even that much more dangerous, man. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything. How y'all feel about Kane as a character throughout season three. And what y'all think his his faith is gonna be in season four. You know, of course Monet is gonna survive. Do y'all think Kane is gonna survive throughout the whole season four? Do you think he's gonna get killed off? Do you think he's gonna continue? I mean, y'all let, let me know y'all theories in the comments below and make sure we'll go back and forth on that shit in the, in the comments, man. But. As far as to put all the nutshell, man, that nigga had he had a solid, a very, very, very solid uh, season until the very end when he got to fucking with F, man. You know, put it in a nutshell, man. So, shit, Diana, she only had to say that, that nigga Tariq name once when it came to some negative shit, and that nigga was on it. So, you know, next season gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna fuck with y'all the next one. Y'all have a good. One.